So my blood was way too thick, mostly because my platelets were too high. So my, my, my blood was, was too trigger happy to clot, which could be the, the source of a heart attack or a stroke. So when we found out how thick my blood was, and the, and the problem is you go to a doctor and they, to do a therapeutic phlebotomy, it's really hard for them to do therapeutic phlebotomy to drain your blood. Like to get a doctor to prescribe that is like, you have to be so in the extreme unhealthy before they'll do it. It's, there's no like preventative concern. So I was not able to donate blood because I had chlamydia within the last year. So Coach Trevor and I were in, our, in my kitchen and he said that he would drain my blood for me. So what we did is we stuck the IV needle in my vein and we just left the other side open and we just drained as much blood as we could into a large measuring cup, a really big cup. And we drained it until I got dizzy. So we weren't trying to get a specific amount of blood out. We just did it until I couldn't stand up anymore. So as soon as I started feeling faint, like I was gonna pass out, then we pulled the needle out, plugged it up, and rehydrated me and put some sugar in me <laughs> so that I didn't die uh, from too much blood loss. But I needed to get so much blood out. Like yeah. This is just after giving his blood right now. I mean, it's chunky and it's the thick. There's parts that's already coagulated. He has a ton of plate. I mean, you'll see it on your lab work. That's how thick my blood was. Like most people's blood will like thicken over time, but mine was like, like I, you could pour it upside down and the blood was solid. That's how thick it was. What's different about me than most people in the industry also is that I prioritize health.